everybody jumping down to Palm Springs. La da do da da, la da do da da, la da do da 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 do da, a do da do da. I got my first ukulele as a Christmas present uh, from my grandmother when I was about seven years old, and this is it. And uh, at the time, um, my parents and I uh, took a steamship to Honolulu from Los Angeles, and this was for Christmas in 1957. And my grandmother was already there, and um, uh, I didn't know it at the time, but it was actually the 40th anniversary of when my grandmother and my mom moved from L.A. to Honolulu to live after she got separated from her husband. Uh, and they lived on Waikiki like around 1918 for about four or five years. And so that was kind of a little bit of background of, uh, of Hawaiian culture uh, in my family. So it was kind of fun to, to you know, get... I, I had a kind of an entree into playing the ukulele and um, when I, when I got the ukulele, we were being uh, driven around uh, the island of Oahu by this big Hawaiian guy, and um, uh, he saw, the, saw my, my uke, and he played a few chords for me and, you know, showed me how to, you know, put my finger, like, on a, you know, play a, play a C or whatever. And um, uh, so that was, that was fun. And then nothing happened for a few years until I got into folk music, and then... Uh, I was so excited to, to do something with folk music that uh, this was sitting around the house and, and I picked it up and started learning how to go. You know, and uh, that was the start of it. Not until I uh, arrived at the threshold of old age and um, there's something about getting old that um, I recommend, you know, to all of you youngsters out there. Uh, and that's that um, if you are, have any consciousness at all, you start to get a perspective on things. When I got older, and then I did start to realize, wow, that was, that was pretty unusual. And um, I was, uh, I was uh, grateful, you know, to have had that experience. It's one of the great consolation prizes of growing up in my family. After I got out of high school, um, I started to busk on the streets of uh, West Los Angeles um, in the neighborhood right around the UCLA campus. In uh, The neighborhood's called Westwood. And um, at that time, there were no DVDs, no VHSs. If you wanted to see a movie, you had to go to a theater. You know, there's no other way to do it. So we would play for the theater lines, and they would snake around the block, and, and we would go stand in a storefront and be off of the street so the police driving by couldn't see us because we were covered up by the line, but it was a perfect amplifier for us to play for a few people as the line, you know, stood there. And, and so the ukulele came back uh, at that point, and I was playing ukulele and I was playing a kazoo, mounted on a, a bent coat hanger um, and uh, I had a friend who was playing a washboard and my friend Hugh was playing harmonica and um, we had a great time you know busking and at that point that was when I learned the my uh, my shuffle strum that goes back to that time and um, you know it was something that that I didn't really think much about I just was in my mind trying to imitate the sound of a kind of a rhythm. And um, so that's where the ukulele came back. And then I was playing it at parties at, at this other friend of mine, Robert's house. Uh, when Robert would come to, to Southern California for the holidays, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, he always had a party and there was always a group of musicians set up in the entryway of this house. There's like a big square room as you go in the front door and there's always chairs set up and, and jam session and uh, a lot of uh, drinking and, and uh, merriment and um, I always thought to myself, geez, if I could get the fun of this situation onto a stage, you know, I think people would like it. Uh, this is uh, 
a tenor, six string ukulele. Now, uh, Kamaka calls a tenor six string a lili u, L I L I apostrophe U. And this was measured. Uh, um, the guy, John Morton, the, the gentleman who made this uke, um, measured my Kamaka lili u um, to get the dimensions of it and then built this. Although this is quite a different beast because, you know, it has a resonating cone. It's, it's nickel-plated brass. And, um, you know, that guy, Robert Armstrong, that um, I've been mentioning in my storytelling here, he actually designed the headstock. So Robert had a lot to do with the design of the, the, the more artistic part of this. And also, I was, I was delighted to find out that he consciously modeled the, the, the stringers of wood in here to imitate the, door, the elevator doors of the Chrysler building in New York. And I went, wow. And then immediately when I looked at it, I thought, yeah, they look just like those doors because I've been there and seen them. And uh, anyway, so, so that's how this came about. It was started off copying the size and dimensions of the, the Kamaka Liliu, which I played for 30 years or so. And then, and then um, uh, he wanted to make me uh, metal uke and... Um, and so I just kind of went, okay, you know, and I didn't really think, I, I didn't know that I was going to end up playing it all the time. But then after I had had this for a few months, it just kind of took over. And, um, you know, I still like my Kamaka, you, but I just, this is, this is what I play. <laughs> Better get your luggage packed Meet you by the railroad track Shug and jive and swing Everybody jumping down to Palm Springs Riding like a buckaroo Tennis court and swimming pool Listen to the cowboys sing Everybody jumping down to Palm Springs Oh, while that snow is falling Falling on the mountain top, you can hear them coyotes calling. Boy, they never stop. If you wanna dance a song, better be some cabbage long. Filthy lucre is a thing. Everybody jumping down to Palm Springs. Palm Springs. Better get your luggage packed, meet you by the railroad track, shug and jive and swing, everybody jumping down to Palm Springs.